For this video today, how to survive a shadow blast, how to survive a romantic shadow blast, because very often the shadow blast is going to happen within the context of a romantic relationship. You are having this beautiful time with this lover, with this partner. You are in this romantic space. You just had sex, you are in bliss, and then suddenly there is a trigger kicking in and blam, aggressive energy starts entering into the field. You start fighting with each other. Sometimes you are the victim of the attack and sometimes you are a perpetrator of the attack. You know, it's, it's freaking incredible. Why does it happen within the context of romantic relationships? Here is an idea, okay? We as guys or as women, we create this, um, these uh, shields, right? These egoic shields. And the spirit sometimes wants to hit us. Sometimes it wants to transmit something to us. And what it needs is for us to crack wide open for these new codes to come into our system. So here is a woman and here is a man and the spirit is, are going, is going to project us against each other so that we crack open. It's an energetic dearmoring pattern. You know, when you start digging into somebody's weaknesses, you know, check into their vulnerabilities and start attacking them, what you are doing is like you are cracking them wide open as if you were taking a pressure point and really digging really, really, really deep inside of them. You will see that person going really into a traumatic trance, into a traumatic space like, fuck, this really hurts, right? And so in the moment you are in that space, what's going to happen? You crack wide open. You lose control. You lose touch with reality and something happens there th where the spirit literally comes in. Something magical happens. This is why it's happening. My belief is, is, is really there is a tremendous amount of magic behind that, behind this shadow blast, behind this incredible, um, you know, traumatic experiences, fighting, big blast that you can have within the context of romantic relationships and couples. And in the moment you crack wide open, guess what? Something comes in, the new code, something is being downloaded. The last one that I had was massive, you know, for like 15 minutes, I was really screaming in fucking pain. And then my lover comes, gives me back love, heals the space. We go back to normal. We start laughing within 15 minutes. And then guess what? For the whole night, I enter into this you know, flow of incredible inspiration. I feel codes and inspiration coming through. And uh, this is the magic of it. I have been wondering in my life, my whole life since I have been 20, I had shadow trainers in the form of women coming into my life and blasting me over and over again. And I never really understood what this was about. Now I really get it. I realize that there is a magic behind it. There is the need for the spirit to come and blast the egoic walls wide open so that my 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 being cracks open and then enters into this space where there is vulnerability there is an opening for new codes to come in this has been my experience over the last six months with um you know potential interaction powerful interactions and um, lots of you know new energies coming in you develop a certain form of energetic flexibility, a certain form of adaptability, and it forces your being into evolution. This is pressure, kicking really hard, kicking you hard, and then you integrating this, this new energies, this new vibration, and rising the wave of uh, you know, new forces and new codes coming into your, your, into your life. This is the message. It might be confusing to you. It is confusing to me still. I might record some more videos on that soon how to survive a shadow blast, how to integrate a shadow blast. Your body and your mind have a tremendous uh, potential to um, adapt, bounce on this, this kind of traumatic experiences. It's a powerful topic. I'm so freaking excited and blown away because I have the feeling that right now I just hit the quotes or the understanding about something that has been bothering or being in my life for like the last 50 years since I was born. You know, seriously, it's... It's crazy. It's just like this massive realization about what this has been about. I'm still, I'm like so excited about this. I'll see you soon.